Little cat, huge journey. Call her the littlest boo-boo. This flighty feline was reported missing by her owners in California four years ago. Her family thought they'd never see her again. We searched for about a good month or two, maybe three months, and we were just like, okay, well, if she's not going to come back, then we kind of just need to let her do her thing, and she'll come back when she's ready. To ready or not, she's going back now. Boo-boo was picked up a week and a half ago in Morriston, just south of Guelph. Yes, that Guelph, here in Ontario. She's a healthy cat. She has been very well taken care of. She came in in phenomenal condition, so clearly somebody out there has been taking good care of her. I just don't understand how she went from all the way on our side to California to all the way across by New York. Canada. Like, I'm, I would assume that maybe by Washington or something, but no, she went all the way down all the states and all the way up and just traveled her little way. The distance between Watsonville, California and Guelph is about 4,300 kilometers. For a healthy human being on foot walking eight hours a day, that journey would take three full months. <laughs> now, that's not to say Boo Boo walked all that way. No one really knows how she got here. There's some belief she might have hitched a ride as a stowaway. She had a huge habit of going into people's cars. Maybe somebody found her as a stray in California and they brought her back to Canada with them and then they lost her here. But we haven't been in touch with anybody who's missing a cat of her description. The local Humane Society says they would have never found Boo Boo's owners if she didn't have a microchip. They say this is a textbook case for it. That's cats, dogs, indoor, outdoor, it doesn't matter. Get the microchip, always keep the information up to date. The next task is getting Boo Boo back to the West Coast. Ailman can't get the time off work and the family don't have passports, so her mom will meet Boo Boo and a GHS officer in Buffalo and take her back home. I already know I'm going to break down and cry. I've already told my husband, you better be prepared because... I'm going to cry. I'm going to be emotional. If anything, at least Boo Boo's already used to travel. Mark Carcassel, Global News.